Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm of the street. In our last video, we dusted off this old Power Mac G4 that we received, and today we are going to set it up as network attached storage. So, old Macs are pretty cool, and uh, this is no exception. This is a Power Mac G4 once again, and even though Power Macs are really cool, um, we're finding that there's less and less modern uses for them. A few years ago, you might have been able to use a Power Mac as a day-to-day -day machine, and some people still can. However, there's a few factors that go into why I can't. First of all, you know, I'm kind of a power user. I don't have the, the best computer in the world, but I certainly do. I do a lot of video editing and, and things that the Power Mac would not be able to handle. Also, this is a low-end Power Mac. Coincidentally, this is the 400 megahertz Power Mac, which is pretty much almost the absolute cheapest you could get. And I'm still really, really thankful that it got passed along in my direction, but yeah, I can't use it as a day-to-day -day machine. Um, it's just, it doesn't have the capability to do what I need it to do. Um, I have too many tabs open in my web browser on a daily basis for this thing to handle. Not to mention, neither Chrome nor Firefox still support OS 10.4 on PowerPC. However, network attached storage is something that you can benefit from no matter how old the computer is. Remember, I used to use a Power Mac G3, so something less powerful than this to host nerdonthestreet.com. Um, and if something less powerful than this can host nerdonthestreet.com, then this can certainly host something. And what are we going to use it to host? Personal files. If you don't have network attached storage in your home, you're really missing out. If you have more than one computer, you know how much of a hassle it is to have to they got a flash drive and plug it into the first computer every time you need to move a file from one computer to another. Plug it into the first computer, move the file, um, you know, eject it, plug it into the second computer. I know just saying it out loud doesn't sound like a lot, but it is really a pain when you have like one or two small files you need to move and you have to, to go through all of that. Flash drives are pretty much the floppy disk of this decade. So, you know, we really want to be able to easily move things between computers. And some people have set up file sharing on their network so that they can directly move files from one computer to another. But sometimes, you know, you have circumstances like one computer isn't turned on or uh, one computer doesn't support the same protocols as another computer. And you might need a mediator in between two computers. Instead of just sending a file straight from computer A to computer B, you might need a network attached storage box. And normally network attached storage devices are um, they're kind of they're not expensive but like they're a dedicated device that was made specifically to be network attached storage and they've got security features and they've got you know this and that they've got backup and they've got raid configurations but you don't really need all that if you just want simple network attached storage so that you don't have to use a flash drive ever then an old mac will do and uh, let me tell you first of all uh, michael chanel who i sold the power mac g3 to is currently using that g3 as a network attached storage box in his house, so we can definitely use the G4 for it in this house. Um, secondly, we've already got an iMac upstairs, a 2008 iMac, and that iMac we kind of use as network attached storage right now, even though it is a day-to-day -day usage computer. I just got all kinds of crap on there because down here, uh, the iMac's not even down here, but I've needed to get files from like my, my workstation to the Mac Pro, and the only thing that both of them can connect to is the iMac upstairs. So instead of continuing to throw random files on my parents' iMac, we are going to set up this Power Mac G4 as a network attached storage device. And here's how to do it. All right, so here we are on the desktop. Sorry about the whole camera pointed at a CRT thing, but this Mac is not exactly powerful enough to run desktop recording software. I actually just checked. So this is the best we've got in terms of recording quality. However, we can get started with the tutorial. So for the purposes of this video, we will be using Mac OS 10.4 Tiger. Um, which is the most upgraded you can get on most older power PC machines. Some of them can upgrade to Leopard, but Tiger is a good good benchmark. I mean, you can upgrade G3s to Tiger, and G4s and even G5s can run Tiger, even though it's not the most updated you can get. So that's what we're using. The first thing we're going to do is go to System Preferences, and under the Internet and Network area, there is a sharing icon, and go there. And as you can see, we've got all these different things that we can share. 
And the first one is personal file sharing. And we are going to turn that on in just a moment. Now I'm actually going to move the sharing window over to the side so I can open up the finder and you guys can see what folder we're actually sharing. So if you see this public folder, this is what we're actually sharing. And you can always go and make new folders and make those public too, but just for simplicity, we're going to use the public folder. So in the sharing window, we will go to personal file sharing. You can either check that box there or click start and it will start up as you can see and now users on other computers will be able to access your public folder now at this moment we're actually sharing this through Apple's AFP protocol and that stands for Apple file protocol or Apple file sharing protocol and that's great if all you have is Macs if you've just got a house full of Macs then that that's great you can stop right here however if you have Windows or Linux then you're going to want to go to the next tab down and go to Windows sharing and then click start for Windows sharing and then once you click start the problem with Windows sharing is that Windows stores its passwords in a less secure manner than Mac OS does as you could imagine so Mac OS is not going to want us to just store all of our passwords in the Windows format by default however we're going to force it to so after we've started Windows file sharing we can go and click enable accounts and then next to your account that you're using uh, check the on box and it will prompt you for a password and after you put that in then it will enable your account. So we'll click done and all those yellow caution icons went away and now Windows users can now access your computer at and then it'll list your IP address. Alright so now that we have that set up here we are on the desktop of my workstation so that I can demonstrate to you exactly how to connect to your network share. So what you're going to do is this is how you do it on Linux. If you do it on Windows just go to your network browser um, there should be some kind of, it should show up in your sidebar in Windows Explorer. In Windows you're going to follow the same steps that you would follow to connect to any network drive. Uh, but just to demonstrate that it works here on Linux, I'll go to the network tab in my sidebar. So what we're going to do is we're going to click add network folder and we will go Microsoft Windows network drive and then we will connect to, uh, we'll call it G4 network share and server will put um, I think it was 192.168.1.139, I believe. And then folder Jacob, I guess. Uh, save and connect. And then it will ask us for authentication. And we'll go Jacob. And we'll type in our password. And then when we click enter, it will be entered there. And we need authentication again. Jacob, password. We'll click remember the password. And here we are ah so as you can see we actually don't just have access to our public folder we have access to our entire home folder um, so we've got our public folder but we've also got like our desktop and documents and things if you connect to it from another Mac over the AFP protocol then it will only show the public folder but if you connect to it either from a Mac uh, viewing the Windows share or if you connect to it from Windows or Linux uh, viewing the Samba share then it will show you the entire home folder so now we can use this home folder as a flash drive so, so let's say that I've got um, my installing CentOS 6.5 video that I did recently and that's a half a gig file not too big so I'll copy that and then over in my Jacob folder I'll go into the public folder once again you can paste it into any of these folders or just into your home folder but I'll go into the public folder just in case I want to connect to this from a Mac and then I will paste one file and down here you can see we are now copying that file and it is half a gigabyte so that's kind of big um, so it's going to take about a minute a little over a minute to do uh, but considering we're going over the network and that's a whole lot more convenient than like a flash drive uh, that's actually pretty good so of course if you're going to use this for extensive file storage you'd want to put as big of a hard drive in the computer as possible Michael put I think a 50 or 60 gigabyte hard drive in his G3 when he did this um, but even the like the four gigabytes that's available on this G4 right now that is just as big as a flash drive so if all you're doing is moving word documents around and like small video files and pictures and things like that then yeah this is this is absolutely a much more convenient replacement for a flash drive and once again you can access this network folder on Windows the same as you would access any other network folder and you can also access it on Mac so it's multi-platform and you don't even have to have a monitor or anything plugged into the Mac so if you've got an old Mac uh, maybe a power PC Macintosh that you want to put to use somehow um, but you don't have anything else to do with it then yeah if you don't have network attached storage set up already uh, this would be a great time to start 
So as you can see, we've now got that right there. And uh, if I connect to this share from any other computer or if I go back to that Mac, then that video will be in the public folder. So yeah, I hope that was helpful to you guys. Let me know what other things you think I should do with this G4 down in the comments below or on our forums at nerdonthestreet.com. For now, though, that's all I had to show you. So I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm Nerd on the Street, and I will see you guys later. See ya.